If you think a library is just books, get ready to think again. Whatever your interests, whatever your information needs, we've got it right here at the Silas Bronson Library, Waterbury's free public library. If we don't have it, we'll help you find it. In fact, we've been helping people since 1870. In the middle of the 19th century, Waterbury was gaining a worldwide reputation as an important manufacturing center. The coming of new industries and new modes of transportation brought on a period of prosperity unmatched in the city's history. As the population grew, so too did the need for a modern, well-outfitted library. It was Silas Bronson who saw to it that Waterbury got such a library. Bronson was a Waterbury native who left the city to become a successful merchant in New York. When he died, he left the city $200,000 to establish a library for the promotion of the education and intelligence and general information of the people of Waterbury. The first librarian was William Fletcher of Hartford, and that first library was located here on the corner of West Main and Leavenworth Street. As the city grew, so did the library's need for more space. City leaders soon decided to build a new library on Grand Street, on land that had been Waterbury's original burying ground. The new library served the city well from 1894 until the early 1960s. In fact, a great many Waterburyans today still have fond memories of this Bronson Library and its many branches. During those years, the library purchased its first foreign language books, established business services, and promoted a wide variety of children's reading programs. In 1963, the library grew again a new, modern structure housing the latest in information technology, the Silas Bronson Library became the largest library resource in northwestern Connecticut. In the 1970s and 80s, Director Stanford Warshawski expanded library programs and introduced computerization, making the library an even more important element in the life of the city of Waterbury. Now, when the role of the Library of the Future is being shaped and redefined, Director Lee Flanagan is ready to guide the Bronson Library into the 21st century. Books are not about to disappear, but what's about to happen is that behind the books we are going to be building these webs of electronic networks with staff quite adept in searching the networks at, uh, at of course, no cost. We hope to continue to make, as we always have, free public library service available by providing information from all over the world by early in the next century to consumers, government officials, educators, students, uh, and uh, uh, people in business and industry in the Waterbury community. But the emphasis on electronic information networks is not the only component of the library's plan for the future. In order to adapt the main library building for new information technologies, we'll need to create more space and update our mechanical and electrical systems. Plans also call for construction of a new branch library and the creation of additional parking areas at the main library. Whether you're visiting our main library or using the services of our branch library on Bunker Hill Avenue, your library card is the key that opens the door to a universe of knowledge and information. At the Bronson Library, you'll find 200,000 book titles and 100,000 government documents. And you can borrow books, videos, audio cassettes, CDs, magazines, even framed art prints. Not only that, you can borrow from the collections of other libraries in Connecticut with your Bronson Library card. But borrowing privileges aren't the only thing we have to offer. Each year, the highly trained staff in our reference department answers more than 55,000 questions and can help you find almost any information you need. We combine current print indexes, catalogs, and directories with the latest computerized searching technology. Our request and bibliomation terminals can pinpoint materials located in other libraries throughout the state. And don't worry if you can't come into the library. We can handle your reference requests by telephone. Do you need information to help you start a business, buy a car, sell your house? Then step into the business department. You'll find it all here. The latest industry trends, marketing tips, investment news, consumer awareness, tax laws, 
and a whole lot more, including a trained and courteous staff. Upstairs, enter the magical world of the children's division. Watch the joy of reading unfold for children and adults alike. It's a friendly and welcoming atmosphere that's alive with special programs and activities, as well as eye-catching exhibits for children of all ages. If you're interested in local history or tracing your family tree, then the genealogy room offers a quiet place for serious research and study. We're also proud of the library's community involvement. Each year, the library welcomes more than half a million visitors and sponsors more than 400 children's and adult informational programs, making the library an intellectual hub and a cultural resource for the entire greater Waterbury area. Helping the library fulfill its mission is a group of concerned citizens who make up the Friends of the Silas Bronson Library. The Friends sponsor a variety of programs and fundraisers, including the ever-popular annual book sale. It's awfully hard work. We collect books for months and months ahead of time. Um, the staff of the library helps sort through them all, and, and we start out with 15, 20,000 books. We have a three-day sale. They're sort of just drawn in to look at the books, and they can't resist going home with a bag full because the prices are so good. And this year we made over $5,000. Guiding the overall management of the library and setting policy is the job of the library's board of agents, people dedicated to maintaining the high quality of service that has always been the hallmark of the Silas Bronson Library. The future of the library is dependent on many individuals, and uh, uh, I think it's, we need the cooperation of the, uh, the Friends Group, uh, city administrations, and our patrons, and our business community to make it grow. We've got the potential. Yes, it's people using and supporting the library who make it a vitally important part of Waterbury's heritage and its future. And the people who staff the Silas Bronson Library stand ready and committed to carry on the library's tradition of service to the community.